Cause I'm so used to this Fuckin' nothing, pay on us some Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hop into the video. The first thing first you will need to do is open your pack of braiding hair. So we are working with number 27 today. You're going to go ahead and cut the rubber band off. This is just stuff that's rocket science, but y'all like to see every step. So here I am doing every step. <laughs> so I have nine packs to work with and I, I am supposed to be doing two braids per pack. So this is kind of how you get your braids to be even. So I'm just going to split the hair into two and just work with one side at a time. So this hair right here does not come pre-stretched. So the bottom is very blunt. So the first, first, first thing you want to do before you start braiding is pre-stretch the hair. How to pre-stretch? You're just going to take a piece of it. I do little bit by little bit and you're going to, can y'all see? You're going to pull on opposite ends. So here's one end. I'm just going to shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. And then here's the other end. I'm just going to shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. So now you went from blunt ends to wispy ends. So I'm about to go ahead and pre-stretch off camera and then I'll be back. All right, I am back. I have a few packs um, already pre-stretched. So I went on and parted off the front because you guys... The way the camera was facing, I wasn't able to do without you guys seeing. I literally just parted from ear to ear. And then this is going to be the front section. So I'm about to go ahead and part the back section for you guys. Close up. Here we go. Hold down for me. Okay. So what I usually do when I'm starting this back row is I part from the top of the ear to the other top part of the ear. So that's kind of how you can level your parts and make sure they're in the same spot. So that's what I'm about to go ahead and do. Always take your time when you're parting. Do not rush the party stage. You don't have to use the same exact product as long as you have some type of sticky substance. This is very sticky, that's why I like it for parts. And then you're just gonna go back over the line. Ooh, crispy already. So as you can see the difference, this is after the sticky product is added, this is before, so. This look good already. Like, I ain't even did nothing yet. Mm -mm -mm. Just off the strength of parting. Okay, so this is our first row. And I'm about to just go ahead and do the rest of the parts sped up so that the video will not be too long. So I went on and parted her whole entire head so you guys can get a gist. I think on Instagram I have been asked how many um, how many parts I do. So I do three on the first row, four on the second row, two on the top, and then when you come over to the side I have one and then two. And the same thing is mimicked on the other side. So I'm about to go ahead and jump in and show you guys how to add in the knotless braid. All right, so here we have it. I'm just gonna go ahead and touch up her root with my product to make sure it's nice and slick as possible. Mm -hmm. 
And then most natural hair girls, their ends are fluffy. So in order to keep this maintained while you're braiding, you're gonna take more product and you're going to swipe it over the bottom so that it'll lay flat and sleek. Swipe it. And then so it's gonna become more stiff and more slick. This is what you want. And then I'm just gonna comb through it. Okay. So I'm going to split the piece that I'm about to braid into three. Okay. Three even pieces. One, two, and then three. So you can just kind of fill them and make sure that they're all some I think this is pretty good so this is the one half of the hair that I have I'm going to separate this maybe into like six pieces here we go I have the hair separated into six pieces six even pieces make sure they're as even as possible what's up so when you're doing knotless braids, you want to put as much tension on the root as possible so that, let me put this up some, so that it can stay nice and tight. Okay. I think this is a good angle. So I should do it. Okay, perfect. It's a lot that goes on behind these videos. Okay, so yes, I'm gonna go ahead and um, repart my three, and I'm just gonna start as if I'm braiding. You wanna put as much tension on the root as possible. So I'm gonna braid one loop, two loop. I still am braiding it, I mean gripping it super, super tight. And you're going to come in with your first piece of hair and slip it in. See how I slipped it in? Slip it in just like that. Keep your attention. Okay, we got that one in, locked in. We're gonna come in with the next piece. Here we go. Slip it in. Keep the tension, do not forget to keep the tension. Come in with the third piece. Same way, slip it in. Do not release tension. Fourth piece. So you keep adding it in to get a thick braid. Tension, slip it in. What number was that? I lost track of the number. What was that? Wait, how many pieces I got left? That was the fourth piece. That was the fourth piece. My bad, y'all. Okay, keep the tension. This is the fifth piece. And then we're gonna stop at the fifth piece. And I'm gonna braid down halfway. So once you get that fifth piece in, you can start loosening your hands a bit. So you wanna start loosening your hands so that the break can become thicker. So the less tension that you use, the thicker the braid will be. Okay, as you're going, the hair is gonna frizz a bit, so you can always go back into your container and add more product to keep the frizz under control. So here I'm loosening it up, but I still have a grip on it, just not too tight. Okay, here's where I'm gonna move the camera back. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. So these are gonna be about thigh length. I use my styling chair as a way to know when to add the hair in. So usually when I get about to the end of my chair, as you guys see it coming up, this black piece right here, 
that's how I know to start adding the other hair in. So this is the last piece and I'm going to split this into about four pieces. So I'm just going to take a little bit here with my pinky. I'm a professional so I can like use my hands and stuff while I'm going. So I'm going to take a little bit of this one and add it in. Okay, I'm going to slip it under. That's one. I'm going to take a little bit more with my pinky. Slip it in. That's two. And take it again. So remember, this is the last piece of the six, and I'm splitting that last piece into four. Take a little bit. Slip it in. And this is the last one from the sixth piece. And I'm gonna slip it in. Okay, perfect. So the reason why you slip that one in gradually is because you don't want the braid to be too fat. Hold on, I tangle a little bit at the bottom. Stay with me, I'm still with you. Yeah. No. And as I'm going, I'm just gonna pick up product as needed so that I can control the frizz. You can see, y'all, it is so long, y'all can't even see it anymore, but I'm gonna adjust the camera on the second braid. Okay, guys, so we have the first braid done. It's very, very long, and I'm about to speed up the rest of the process. I did the first three braids there's they look so good like if y'all listen to what I told y'all then all of y'all braids should come out all of your braids should come out super super even now I'm having a hard time um, showing you guys how I get all the way down to the end because they're so long but I'm about to try to adjust the camera so you guys can see me braid all the way down to the end but I just came in to check in and show you guys that this is what if you don't look like this if you made it this far to the video and your braids are not looking like this rewind and go back We are done with all the braids. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little close up. So 
So I have not did her baby hair yet, but if you get a little close on the braids, then there's frizz here. So what I'm gonna do is take my scissors and I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, y'all actually can't, but sometimes there's little pieces. I wish I could at least get one. Yep, y'all see that? Sometimes there's little pieces of frizz. So I'm actually gonna go through and cut the frizz off. But before I do that, I'm gonna lay her baby hairs. So what you're going to do is just mix them together and push the baby hair forward. Just like that. Perfect. Less is more. So cold. <laughs> favorite parts here you can use your edge comb or um, edge brush I like to use any fine tooth comb to lay my baby hair so you're just gonna swoop it in whichever direction that they go one thing about baby hair is you do not force it like let it go the direction that it wants to go so that's what we're about to do here today So that's just, oh. <laughs> this is my favorite part, y'all. I'm sorry if I'm so hyped. Let me continue this way. So I'm gonna turn you a little bit towards the camera. I don't see y'all, y'all can see this side, but I'm just about to go ahead and lay this side too. to go ahead and dip the hair really quick and the water has stopped so you need to have your towel ready to grab i work easier with mine on my arm but you can do whatever works for you so i'm just going to grab all the braids and then i'm going to dip them until the ends are straight okay okay so <laughs> All right, so the braids are just dripping, so I'm just gonna smooth it down with the towel. Just go downward so that the braids won't go in any other direction than down. Listen, when I say this, go downward. <laughs> and then here you have it, the difference between undipped and dipped braids. Just, just listen, y'all, just do this. Now it's time to get into these beads, okay? 
Okay, so I have um, three of them beaded right now. I suppose I did five, but you know, I'm just so eager. I want to go ahead and start. So what you're going to do is with this hole that's right there, try to open it a little bit so that the hair can stick through. She's going to take a braid and the end piece, try to make y'all help y'all see this. The end piece is just going to slide right through the braid. So once you have that end piece, I mean, I said through the braid, through the bead stick. So once you have that end, you're going to count how many beads you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do six. So I'm just going to push it up and voila, the beads are here. So to secure it, it's going to slide to the bottom. And so when I'm sliding these to the bottom, I do not like when the beads are past the knot here. So I make sure that they're going to cover up the knot. And then I just loop the bottom. Y'all see? I loop the bottom over the last bead, the bottom of the hair over the last bead like this. So it should look like this. Y'all see? And then I'm gonna take my rubber band. I'm gonna take my rubber band and I'm just gonna keep wrapping it until it can't wrap anymore. So I'm gonna just going in a circle, circle. until it's super tight. So there you have it. And so it should look like this when you're done. And this extra hair on the side, all you're going to do is cut it off. And then slide the beads down. And there you have it. So if yours just have extra frizz, you could just snip that right off. So there you have it, and I'm about to go ahead and do the rest. Okay guys, this is the completed look. Ooh. All the way down to the bottom. Do you guys see how long that is? So let me know down below if you like this style. If you tried it, please tag me in it. If you learned something, let me know that too. But.